I'm Karen Grete from Scandinavian Today. Here I have a nice chicken, a whole chicken, and I'm going to stuff it with parsley and sprinkle it with salt and pepper, and then I'm going to fry it in the pot, and that's going to be our dinner tonight. And of course, we get it lit right here. Are you hungry too? No, not yet. You wait. You wait a little bit. And of course, then we uh, eat the, when the chicken is finished, we make a delicious gravy, eat it with potatoes and your choice of vegetable. So here I sprinkle the chicken with pepper and salt, both inside and on the outside as well. Okay, so pepper in there. And I stuff it with a bunch of parsley. It gives it a wonderful flavor and actually the gravy is so delicious because of the parsley. That's what I think at least. So here we stuff a lot of parsley in there. Okay. And there we have it then. Let's sprinkle a little salt and pepper on both sides as well as inside. And here you see the parsley I stuffed it with. And now I can fry it in the, in the pot. I already melted some butter. Let's get going with this. Okay, so... I'm, I'm going to let it get nice and brown all over before I add some chicken stock and put on the lid. So just let it get brown for a couple of minutes on the side. Okay, the chicken has been in here for, for several minutes and I'm now going to turn it to the other side. And let that get brown before I turn it back. So now let it get nice and brown. So while the chicken is cooking in the pot, I am going to peel and slice the potatoes and of course you want to make this sure the chicken is completely cooked before you eat it so it takes at least an hour okay and of course you, you can check on the meat to make sure it's cooked before you start making the gravy and you know I always use the potato water for the gravy as well as the liquid that's in the pot with the chicken. So pretty soon we can eat our chicken dinner. And of course we also have cucumber salad with it, which is always great. And while the chicken is getting finished, I'm also cooking a few potatoes in salted water. I'm adding salt now and uh, pretty soon we can have dinner. We have the chicken and as you can see I'm checking the leg to see if it's cooked all the way and it certainly looks like it is so I am going to serve my chicken okay so I'm adding some of the water from the potatoes to the gravy and now I'm going to pour in the flour mixture to thicken the gravy and finally I have to tell you I'm going to add a pinch of sugar you don't need to do that but I think it gives the gravy a good flavor so I just keep stirring and adding the flavor here and it gets a little thicker and I'm adding some sugar just a pinch of sugar, you don't need a whole very much. But it does give it a good, great flavor. So here you see my chicken dinner, and I now need some gravy on top of the potatoes because, oh, it's going to taste wonderful. And I do like a little sprinkle of parsley as well. Of course, I eat it with some 
corn and of course the traditional cucumber salad. So let's have a bite. And I'm ready to taste my chicken, which I like you ne probably remember, <laughs> I'm sure you remember, that I stuffed it with parsley and the parsley gives it a really nice flavor, especially to the gravy. So let's have a bite here. Mm. Mm. Oh hell, you want to taste that? Okay, okay, I'll give you a bite. I know you like chicken too. Okay. Okay, Harry. Okay, come here. Come. Come on. Ah. Okay, taste it. All right. Good. Okay. Well, we all like it. And I'm sure you will like it too. Easy to make. And enjoy. And please subscribe to our channel. I appreciate it very much. And uh, have a wonderful day. School. And take care. Harry, get down.